Welcome to Object Oriented Programming. I am T. Camrig and I had to program a bagel slicer. I'm Brad Kutzbach. I had a toy wind up car. I'm Brandon Nelson and I created this project, which is a clip radio. We had to. Uh, go ahead and create a C++ file that basically makes objects in the real world run as a program on your computer. Uh, we decided to use Brandon Nelson's program as he stated and I think what we'll do quick is give you a slight overview of how one of those programs might just run on your computer. If you want to go ahead and run that program real quick. Okay. So here we're building the program. There we go. And it'll ask you to enter commands. The help command is the one that brings up probably the most useful information for the radio, correct? Yes, if you put in a question mark, then you get the help command which lists all the commands and the functions that are synchronized with the commands. So why don't you go ahead and run one of those, maybe the frequency command. Okay, so if you type in frequency, it'll give you the option to select weather band or FM. And we want to go ahead and run We'll, we'll FM. choose FM, yeah. yeah. Um, and then since it's a, a radio and you, you maybe want to choose a station or see what stations are coming in, then you could maybe run a scan like you would on a different one. Yep, so to run a scan, we'll just type scan, hit enter. All right, so we get 107.1 FM coming in over the that frequency. All right, cool. So say I wanted to possibly get rid of that, what would I do? If you wanted to clear the screen, you would simply type reset and hit enter. Then it will ask you, are you sure, yes or no. You type a Y and hit enter for yes. So and I can start from the beginning. Yep, and it'll clear the screen. You start right back at the beginning where please enter a command. So let's say we wanted to be done with the program. If you want to exit the program, you just type exit hit enter and it'll exit out of the program. All right, so that's kind of a brief overview of how, how it might run on your computer. So let's talk about a little bit how it's been developed and, and what needs to take place as far as a hierarchy. As you can see over on the right, there's a, a main file that would then run the clip radio device and Brandon, if you want to show them kind of what that main might look like. Okay, this is the main file, which is at the top of the hierarchy on the right in the picture. And in here, it includes these strings here. And it also, in the main file, you have to include the class clip radio and declare that there's an object called clip uh, pulling from the clip radio class. Okay, so in the main file, um, like I said, you have the cl uh, clip radio called, or the clip radio class, and there's a clip in the clip radio class. And all your functions in main, such as clip FM selected, clip high selected for the volume, and, you know, light on, scan, all the functions in the main file are calling from the object clip, which is higher. a part of the clip radio class. Which basically calls down through the hierarchy on the right. So if you call something, say a function out of main, it's going to reach down into clip radio at the start, and it's going to look for what it is you're calling out of clip radio, because everything contained in this program has to pass through clip radio. So if you want to look at kind of what clip radio 
is comprised of. Okay, in the clip radio class, you have the clip radio header file and as well as the clip radio CPP file. In the clip radio header file, you declare the clip radio class. And in the clip radio class, you declare in the private part the parts that the clip radio has in it. Um, and in the public part, you declare the functions that you are going to make in the CPP file, which are all here. And then you go to the CPP file, and here is where you set up what you want your functions to do. Cool. So from the clip radio, which contains everything in the device, then we would move down and call from either the casing or the circuit and then they would have to call from from themselves what's being called from main so so clip radio has then received a message from main clip radio device and it now has a function that's trying to call and has then delved into and what we may be looking for is something from button and so as we move from clip radio, button, as you can see, is under circuit. So let's look at what circuit involves and, and reaching out to the button. Okay, in circuit, you have the circuit header file, which um, has a lot of includes in it for all the different things in there. Um, it includes three different buttons, uh, the battery cover and the battery charge. It also includes a light bulb and headphones and four switches. And then again, you declare what functions you're going to use in that class. And then in the circuit CPP file, here again, you're stating what your functions are going to do. And down here, here's the scan function. And I think Teague wanted to explain that a little bit. And we'll get to that um, a little bit later in the tutorial um, after, after we talk to Brad. But first, let's get over to the hierarchy here. And, and as you can see, as he was talking about within the circuit, it has a lot of includes for things like headphones and switchers and buttons because the circuit is what's going to reach out to that last third level that we had to program to in order to make things operate and in each of those little pieces you would find that they all have little functions inside of them so circuit then is calling from buttons to have uh, something being pushed or um, turned on so if you want to look at the button part of things so um, actually I'll show you from circuit when it calls the button it says the function here, light, light dot light, is calling the function from actually the button class over here in the button header file and the button dot cpp over here. Um, in the button header file, you declare the class button, and here you're declaring your functions again. And then in the button dot cpp, here you're stating what the functions are going to do. All right. So, as we see now, backing up through, we had called for a button uh, light to be pushed. So, from main, we reached clear down to button. And then from button, circuit received information, which then passed the information back to clip radio and then over into main. And then we find that the button has been, the light button has been pushed as we see over on the left. It's then displaying that out to the screen from our program. So why don't we have uh, Brad talk a little bit about how some of that works in more detail after now that we've gone over some of the hierarchy. All right, in main, the first thing you need to do is declare the strings that you're gonna be See, there's a string for the light button, the volume switch, and the clip state. 
Um, main runs in a perpetual loop, and the only way it stops is if you press exit. That's the way you close the program. Um, it prompts the user for input. It then sees in the command. And depending on what command is entered, it will call the proper function. Um, say you press or type in the scan function, uh, the user would be asked if they would like the FM or the weather band. Um, if FM is selected, the program then calls the scan function that's located in the circuit CPP. Um, the scan function is run by a random number generator. In the scan function, you basically have srand, which is a random function that has an assigned seed variable, which then takes from the internal clocking of your computer based on your CPU's functions per second, which is billions, and assigns it to an index. And then it also uses, or and then you also have a highest and lowest range for your frequencies in order to exist and then it basically takes those in pieces of information and puts them through a uh, equation in order to then give you a complete randomly generated frequency for the radio to uh, respond to and based on those responses and and what kind of numbers get spit out we then have an if else statement that allows it to either have a 97.3 or a 107.3 so that was the scan function which in the hierarchy started in the circuit CPP file which was called by the clip radio file from the clip radio device, which is your main file. Um, that's one of the many functions in a program, and hopefully this helps you understand how an object-oriented program is constructed, and thank you for watching.